Hello, welcome to Arduino and my robot. So this is first project in chapter 14 that we'll be doing. And uh, overall, we have done six projects and this is the seventh one. And in this project, we'll be using our component, the potentiometer. So if you see, this is how we are going to connect our circuit. So our potentiometer, this symbol is basically uh, shown here into the right. So that symbol will be uh, available on your Tinkercad component section. You can drag and drop it something like this. You have to connect one end to ground terminal second and then other end to this brown end will be connecting to the power input power 5 volt and the center one the wiper one will be connecting with A0 that is analog pin. Okay. So what is happening is from here we have to connect uh, this analog pin uh, center one that is wiper to the analog pin A0, A1, any part okay, up to A5. We have any pin, five pins here, we can select any here. Okay. Now we'll uh, maintain the color even in our uh, Tinkercad thing so that you can uh, remember and you do not get confused. So green one will be connected to A0, the brown one will be connected to 5 volt and the black one will use that as a uh, ground wire. Okay. Now whatever component that we are going to control with this potentiometer means the amount of current flowing to any component and that component current is being controlled by potentiometer. So whatever component we are going to use should be connected to PWM pin. Okay, why I'm saying that? We'll uh, understand in few seconds. Now you see the potentiometer receives. You see, uh, focus on the brown wire. Okay, you pro, uh, you focus here. The uh, when the direction is mentioned. So what is going to happen? Potentiometer is going to receive five volt from the pin connected in Arduino with the brown wire. And then it goes into the potentiometer up to here. It goes here. Then from here, you see the follow the green wire. Okay. From here, whatever the value. Okay. So the value which we got from the potentiometer, whatever value we rotate it here and we get some value. Okay. Whatever the value which we get is going to transfer to A0 pin, A0 pin. Okay. And this is an analog input. And if you remember these pins, okay, these pins on which our component is going to be connected is a digital pin. So these analog and digital, if you remember a few lectures back, we have discussed, we have to convert analog to digital. So, or digital to analog. So this is where we'll be using it. What is going to happen is this analog input if you want to transfer to any of the component a digital pin, we have to convert it. And for that, we'll, we'll be using ADC, that is analog to digital converter. Now, let's understand the maximum and the minimum values. If you remember in uh, previous lecture we did, when we were covering PWM pins, what was the maximum brightness we can achieve for a LED bulb was 255. So, for those pin, PWM pins, the maximum output is 255 and minimum is zero. Minimum is going to be zero for everything. But when you come to analog side, what is the minimum is zero and the maximum is that our converter is going to achieve is 1023. Okay. So how we are going to convert this ADC to PWM converting? Okay. And uh, means uh, analog to digital, how we are going to convert all those things. For that, we'll be needing a function that is called as mapping. What it is going to do is, it is going to take the value, whatever value analog input is being given, that value is getting mapped with equivalent uh, digital value. Okay. So we know the digital value changes from 0 to 1023 and PWM value changes from 0 to 255. Yeah. <clears throat> now see, ADC is going to change from 0 to 1023 and PWM is going to range from 0 to 255. Now whatever whatever value, whatever value we want to change is going to be stored in this VAR value. Means 
So in mass, if you say L is equals to 16, L means length, length is equal to 16 centimeter. 16 is getting stored into the variable L. Hence, L is a variable and variable means something that can have value means uh, for which the value can change. Okay. So that's why I've written in shortcut var variable. So whatever the value we are getting from potentiometer will be stored in VAR. Okay. Now the, with this map function, we are going to put the value between the PWM and ADC. So here is our AWM, sorry, PWM limits 0 to 255. And here are our ADC limits, okay, 0 to 1023. So what is going to happen is, as soon as we rotate this, it is going to get some value, okay. It is going to get, this potentiometer is going to get some value. That value we are going to store in VAR. Now VAR is going to be mapped by map function between these limits. Okay, so here is the basic code. Uh, ignore it as of now. We'll explain it. Uh, we'll learn more about this code when we'll go to Tinkercad. So we'll ex explain exactly what these uh, things are happening. Okay, okay. Now you see here. As soon as you rotate here, okay. Since I have used serial begin, or let me do one thing. I'll just go to Tinkercad and try to explain it there only. Okay, so I have already made the circuit diagram here. You see, here is our potentiometer. And this is the code. Okay, so what we are going to do is this is our potentiometer. Okay, I'll show you here in the list. Remove the buzzer. Now you see. Here it is potentiometer. You click it and you can paste it here. So I have pasted my potentiometer here. Then I have post put one resistor, then one LED bulb. Even I can remove this resistor. Okay, it's, it won't be happening. But in reality, what is going to happen is if the voltage is increased beyond certain limit by this potentiometer, it will fry our bulb. Okay, to protect it, double protect it. What is what we are going to do is we are going to attach this register to it. Okay. So, and this is a buzzer because I was trying to rotate it to change the intensity of our light. If you remember in last project, what we did is we changed the intensity by changing it manually. Okay. By putting the value we used to change it. But here, what we are going to do is uh, not manually in last project we did by code, right? But in this time we are going to do it manually by rotating our potentiometer. I have also attached the buzzer, buzzer sound so that you can hear exactly how the current is affecting the sound. So this one end of the potentiometer is connected to the ground terminal, the brown uh, clay, uh, black one and the brown one is other end. Okay, this is connected to 5 volt pin and the center pin that is wiper is connected to A0 pin. Even you can connect it with A1, A2, A3, A5. It should be an analog pin. It does not matter which pin it. Okay, it should be an analog pin. For all the analog pin, we have a prefix is A. Okay. Now one end of the buzzer uh, is connected with terminal PWM pin six, and other end of the LED and buzzer terminal is connected with the ground terminal. Okay. Now let's go to the coding part. I'll zoom out. Let's go to the coding part and, and then I'll zoom it a little bit. Yeah. Okay, now it's visible. So you see the code. We have written void setup, then pin mode at which pin we are going to get the output A0. Okay, don't be confused uh, that this is output or not. Just understand input is going to come from 5 volt. Okay for the potentiometer and the output is going to come from the wiper wire. So that's why it is written as output. Okay. And that output is going to which pin a zero pin. Okay. Similarly, we are going to get a pin number six as an output for our LED and buzzer. So we have written pin mode six as an output. Serial begin is written here because what we are going to do is we are going to print our 
voltage okay you can ignore even this if you do not want to print but i have written it serial begins 9600 because i want to show you how we are changing the voltage okay now you see a uh, void loop int var so this variable is going to store the output from a0 so it is going to read analog read because this is an analog pin analog read a0 whatever value that is going to come at a0 is going to be read by this function analog read after reading that function value sorry after reading that value by function we are going to save that value to var okay now whatever the value var is that is going to be changed into digital okay as of now it is in analog so to change digital uh, into digital what we are going to do is we are going to map it for mapping we are going to use map function as told in the previous lecture so here map var comma 0 comma 1023 comma 0 comma 22255 okay this is maximum and minimum limit for digital and this is for pwm so whatever the mapping value after mapping now you have converted this analog variable to digital now i have converted it digital i need to store it in some other variable it is same like first the length was in centimeter lcm is equals length in centimeter length in centimeter will say as lcm it was stored in a variable now after converting it into meter i'll save it into lm same way first it was analog then i saved in var now it is pwm okay after mapping we yes uh, we have converted it into digital now we are saving into pwm and the data type this is integer data type means what kind of data we are going to save in pwm it's integer value that's it it is minus infinity to plus infinity no decimal values okay we are going to save in integer values pwm now we are writing analog write 6 pwm what we are going to do is we are going to write whatever the value we are getting at pwm from the potentiometer we are going to supply that pwm value to six number pin so what is six number pin it is our led bulb and buzzer so we are actually transferring that potentiometer value or potentiometer current value to our pin number six and also we are going to print it whatever the value is getting transferred we are going to print it okay now let's start the simulation now see i'll just open the code one you see here you focus on this serial monitor output as of now it is zero okay i increased it it is not working in the range pw because pwm is going to work between only zero and 255 so we should be going between zero and two notice serial monitor You see, now the value is 1. And you can hear sound and also see this bulb is glowing. Okay. I'll zoom it a bit. Just a second. Yeah, see. Now I'm going to make it maximum by rotating it to 255. Now I've rotated it. It is 255. You see the buzzer sound has increased and even the intensity intensity of the light has increased i drag it back and you see it is two so it is working between this range only this is how we are going to control the current into our buzzer okay let me tell you one interesting thing suppose if you have connected a motor here not a if you have connected a motor here but not a this buzzer what is going to happen is you are going to change the speed of your motor suppose that motor is connected to some uh, you are making a water pump or you are making some uh, wheel okay car or moving part okay car suppose let's take a wheel of a car it's connected to this potentiometer what is going to happen when change the value of potentiometer 
by uh, rotating the wiper wire it is going to change the amount of current bit getting into that motor that will change the speed okay? that is how we are going to control the speed of motor by revolving our potentiometer i suppose this project has given you some idea about what it a potentiometer is and how you can use it so you can start adding more component from the right side which you can see here and start making your own uh, projects okay i'll share few project code you should be reading those code try to understand what those uh, actually what those lines mean and try to write or modify your codes okay after doing that you will learn more from the errors you will be getting when i say error suppose here i have written the code here and i have not put here uh, semicolon okay and if i run it i'll get an error here you see so expected semicolon before serial so this is serial and expected semicolon here so this is how we are going to learn that okay so what's happening here is i have to add something here uh, that is compulsory and that's semicolon okay so you have to do something like that okay that's all for today and thank you so much we'll see in the next class and learn more about uh, sensors few more sensors are left and after that we'll be doing our projects in in which uh, uh, i'll be doing three projects in or on Arduino. one is line following robot then obstacle uh, obstacle robot is there and i think uh, one more project will be doing let me finalize it and uh, i'll come back to you soon enough and for the buying different parts i have uh, from like found few good companies which will be providing you with uh, modules and the Arduino kit all the multi-purpose Arduino kit are there along with the code and some instructions how to connect all those pins okay so i'll uh, share with you uh, in the last lecture when we start the basic project okay thank you so much